There is no disease, no war. Women put all their power into medicine, science and ecology. They stopped global warming. They gave up interfering with animals. That's why they have a new home now. They also used the power of technology to reconstruct genes. It's a guarantee that all future children will be girls. After hearing Mary's description, the students asked what the men looked like. Mary has not seen one yet. She just said they should be similar to apes walking on all fours. Then she took the students on a tour of the dilapidated city. The girls were excited to take pictures. She wanted the students to learn about men and also to give herself some insight. She took the girls into the men's territory. Their arrival instantly attracted the men's attention. But the men weren't walking on all fours like she said. Although they were dressed in shabby clothes, they were just like normal people, sensing that something was wrong. Mary rushed the girls into the car. There is a strong defense mechanism here. However, when the roll call was taken, she found that a girl was missing. When she found the girl, found the girl was curious about a chicken. Just when Mary thought it was a goose, suddenly a young man sends it violently to heaven. The splattering of blood instantly frightened the two, and their screams drew others to them. The young man told them to hide. If they were found, they would be in trouble. Just as they were hiding, a bearded man came over curiously. He looked around and found nothing, and then started to pee. The boy's name was Jack. He had never seen a woman before and looked at the woman in front of him with curiosity. He even went up and smelled it. This is too good smell. Jack's face is intoxicated. After the man on the other side left, Mary expressed her gratitude to Jack, but Jack seemed to be crazy. Directly kissed up. 